Chess friends, how are you? The new Torch chess engine is a beast, it is far better than Leela Zero and other chess engines. I defeated him several times but in this video I am going to show you his 1 million chess LO performance against me. The difference between winning and losing is most often not quitting, so let's go. Torchlight started the game with e4, I played c5, knight to f3 and here you can play standard Sicilian opening with d6 or French variation e6, but I am following my book opening which was played Nimsevich opening knight f6, I really amazed to see that Torch has really improved, he is the ruler of darkness and I am the king of chess ocean, e6 was possible but I decided to play knight takes knight. Some people ask me about how to be better at chess, listen to me, to be better in chess you first have to love chess, practice will make you better and learn from your mistakes, that's all, we have queen d2 with the idea of playing long castle and push the kingside army to attack black, so h6 h4 queen c7 h5, torch is very serious to create troubles for me, you want to involve the rook on f file, develop your bishop places in a manner way, it's a very important thing where you keep your pieces position in different variations, you need a strong combination and communication among your pieces, I placed my knight on e7 to open up my bishop's line and put the knight on d5, bishop h2 bishop c6 c4 and I played castle in long side, because my cpu is saying that the king side will not be secured forever, torch have a heaven position but I am not less than anyone, he gets heaven position because he has white pieces, there is no other reasons. LOL, knight c8 to push the d-pawn so we have knight e1 with the idea of playing bishop f3 to eliminate the bishop, bishop e7 and torch set up his triple camera on d-file, now the d5 move isn't possible because he will play on Passan and and everything is protecting that square, right, chess is a war between two players in intellectual level, of course there is one versus four players chess variational game. If you interested in that particular game then you can watch Stockfish vs 4 Grandmasters game which I recently uploaded, we have some pieces dance, knight d2 to sacrifice the pawn and go to the e4 square, bishop takes g3 and torch played queen g4 to guard the h3 square to play f3, it will trap the bishop so I has to play bishop c6, so torch wins up the g pawn, but he may forget that this pawn structure may trap the queen in the future, so after rook g8 queen takes pawn. We have knight to c8 to protect the bishop, rook c3 to spread red carpet to bring the queen on d3, we have rook f8 queen h7 bishop g5, moving back the queen on d3 isn't good for artificial level, it will create a drawable position for both sides, if you are a human then you can blunder your piece, then your opponent will blunder his piece in his next move like the Gotham chess guess the yellow game, I don't see anything special in his videos just full of blunder and blunder and blunder and blunder and suddenly, the brilliant move, ok we have knight e4 and here if you dare to play something ordinary move for example a5, then we will play knight f6 to create problems for black, you can slide the rook or take the knight, if rook h8 then after some moves later, the bishop will get an open diagonal, so d6 bishop here e5, bishop e6 and black will be seized by white pieces completely, black pieces and combination will be falling down. Let me extend the variation, few moves later we will get this position where the e-pawn will be eliminated, bishop and two pass pawns will eat your position completely, so back to the position, I played cleverly rook to h8, trapping the queen due to his ignorance, but torch attitudely said, I am giving my queen to you completely, I have no issue with it, knight takes rook, I played rook g8, f4 to play knight f6, f5, takes then push the pawn to open up the diagonal. There is many tactics as white can consider, we have knight e7 knight e6, if you dare to save the rook, let me show you the variation, then we will play bishop g4 to x-raying this diagonal, rook d3 will come to target this key pawn, a5 rook d3, this is coming, so king c8, f5 to sacrifice the pawn, you may be happy to get a free pawn with a target, but there is killer e6 move which will target to the queen, so queen b7 takes king here bishop h3, bishop h4 is coming, so b5, takes takes rook e3 bishop c6, bishop h4 a4, then we will sacrifice the rook, takes knight check with dual attack, king here then we will promote into a new queen, this will be a checkmate in few moves, you cannot swim for new horizons until you have courage to lose sight of the shore, 
So back to the position, we have queen c7 with the idea of playing knight f5 to target the bishop, bishop f1 knight f5. Rook to g7 to protect the pawn and I am threatening to push the pawn, so bishop h3 a5 b3 queen here and we have pieces exchanges, few moves later, torch played rook takes d7, bishop can't take it because of the fork, but he left the bishop, takes rook d3 king c8 rook h7, rook d6 is coming to target this so after rook takes pawn, we have rook d6, my position is totally restricted because I lost my pieces combination and structure strategy long time ago, that means that I am totally losing. Rook c7 check and the king can't go there, let me show you the variation, if it happen then what should white play now? c3, rook to d2, king c1 and look at the rook position, he have no safe square to protect the d-file, so rook d6, takes takes, rook check to sacrifice another rook, then play a knight fork and you will get a rook for a bishop, you will completely win the game, so back to the position, I played king d8, So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.